So we got the preview of JP Dokun's next Dokun Fest unit. And it looks like it's going to be Guard Topo, who is a physical unit. And from what I am seeing through the passive skill, I don't see the number 11. So this ain't a universe 11 leader, I'll tell you that much. Then we also have the Psy unit preview, which is this Power Ranger guy, which I forgot his name. But he looks very, very interesting. He has 300% attack and defense here. We'll go through the English details in today's video. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. But let's jump into the animations first. Starting off with the side unit Power Ranger man. He's so cool. I can't believe we're actually getting a unit for him. Gives me hope that one day the whole tournament of power is going to get a unit. And that means what, Dr. Rhoda? <laughs> All right, very, very simple, but actually pretty cool. And this is Topo. Very funky OST for the intro. To that jazz vibe. Very interesting. Man, make some loud ass footsteps. Oh my. All right. This is actually pretty sick. It's very fluid. And then we got to God Topo Transformation. I think it's a transformation. This looks dope already. Oh, damn. Dude, this is ripped straight off the movie right there. <laughs> that was like hella different. Holy shit. Hey, Archie vibes right there. You know, you know. Oh, actually, maybe the well, the grandfather Heiachi, more like it. Jinpachi? That's what it is. Oh, are we getting a counter or nullification here? Bruh, it needs to be a 2x speed at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sick... That is a sick nullification. What the hell? It's not even over. Wait, what the frick? They low-key put more effort in this than the Big Bang Vegeta. Oh my god. That's the active skill. Ooh, they didn't give this the KO screen or anything like that. That was an abrupt ending. Very, very abrupt ending. So let's jump into Tori Pose details here. Leader skills, special pose, banging. Tournament participants, all right. So there's no more universe survival saga leaders ever. This is just going to be the new norm. Three key, 170%, plus additional HP, attack, and defense, 30% for each character who also belongs in Defenders of Justice, Final Trump Card, or Space Traveling Warriors. Greatly raises attack defense for the super attack for one turn. Passive, you got the entrance animation when there are another two special poses or defenders of justice category allies, and it will buff up him for damage reduction 11% for the battle. That's okay. And then activates guard against all attacks for three turns. Interesting. I wonder if that is super, super important because off the top of my head, I can't really think of too many OP units in that category. Attack and defense 200%. An additional attack, 150% when launching a super attack. Damage reduction, plus 20%. Changes into key spheres to physical key spheres when HP is 50% or higher. Cool. Key plus one, attack and defense 30% to all special pose or defenders of justice category allies. As the first attacker, two, defense 200%. Activates guard against all attacks. And additional defense 50% for another for the turn after receiving an attack. Okay. And then on the second or third attack, an additional 100% attack defense when launching super. Okay, we don't want that. We don't care about that. I think, though, first slot unit Topo is looking pretty good. You don't even need his entrance animation. Like, the 200% defense and then the 50% on receiving your first attack and the 20% damage reduction and guard. I think that's still pretty solid enough. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but obviously, an additional 11% damage reduction it does go a decent way, but I don't remember any good special poses or defenders of justice units right now. Unless they easy a Jiren, uh, the LR tech Jiren, then we might be talking. Uh, he does have the transformation from the turn four when there's another special pose or defenders of justice or from turn six. Okay. 
Uh, let's see how good the God of Destruction mode is. He massively raises attack and raises defense for one turn. 300% attack, defense three key. An attack boost of 250% when attacking. Changes into key spheres, into rainbow key spheres. Activates guard against all attacks. Damage reduction 80%. With a minus 8% of that, up to 60% per attack received. Ooh. Ooh, that can go away in like one turn. Low key. But for, it's like that one turn insane buff. The first turn since appearing nullifies key blast super attacks. Uh, from the next turn, high chance to nullify. Interesting. So he's in big boy damage. And then, well, he will always be big boy damage. And then he will just slowly and slowly and slowly become less defensive to the point where it actually could be kind of risky because it's only 300% attack and defense at the start of the turn, which is decent with the raised defense, but can be definitely on the scarier side. At least it has a high chance to nullify key-based super attacks, which is pretty good. So actually, I am looking forward to using this guy. It actually looks pretty fun. And then we're going to look at the final unit, which is Kato Perza. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's <laughs> been so long since I watched the show like that. Uh, he's Defender of Justice, leader for 3 key and 130%. Very Videl vibes of celebration already. It raises attack and greatly raises defense for one turn. Supreme damage and steals the enemy's super attack. Key plus 3 attack, defense 300%. Changes STR orbs to AGL orbs at the start of the turn. Launches two additional attacks with high chance for it to be a super attack and high chance to evade attacks. Defense plus 30% up to 300% per AGL key spheres obtained on turns 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Oh, so they're doing like some sort of like because he can change colors, which is a decent way to like show off that ability. It would be cool like if it like showed you which turns you're on i don't know if that makes sense but that is so those odd number turns he's actually really defensive with the orbs obtained uh then on the even numbers changes agl to str orbs great chance to launch a super attack great chance to for all attacks to be critical hits attack plus 30 percent up to 300 percent per str key sphere obtained on turn four six two four six eight ten an additional attack defense 33 percent when launching a super attack from turn 7, changes AGL and STR key spheres into tech key spheres. Once only, attack defense 30% up to 300% per tech's key sphere obtained. So, out of it's so this collides with this, which is very interesting. And since it changes AGL and STR, you're probably you're not going to be activating this one, but it is the turn where you share both attack and defense. Interesting character. We haven't seen something like this. The only one I can think of, like, this is kind of like, and it's not even close, but like, uh, the AGL Majunia from the World Tournament where it's like specific turns, where you get certain buffs, and it's, that's not even, that's not even like near this. This is actually, it's a bit interesting. I don't know how this plays out though, because you are lacking a lot of stats if you don't get the defense one. Like, how weak is that going to be, potentially? And it's 33% on super. Yeah, maybe the attack might actually go hard, though. So, very, very interesting character. Would like to see some um, gameplay of him and just uh, determine how good he potentially is. But looks pretty fun to use, though. Also, last year's April Fool's card, the Super Saiyan AGL Goku, which I used in order to help me beat the Red Zone Beerus event, is going to be getting an Awakening and EZA this year. I have really high expectations for him. His art's a little bit goofy, I will say compared to his SSR form. <laughs> and that is dropping on both Global and JP. It's very weird because the April Fool celebration is a joint celebration, but it's only the April Fool's part, but not the Doken Fest exclusive. They'll have their own Doken Fest. I'm assuming Global is going to be getting the uh, Super Saiyan Goku and Harutagon as their next Doken Fest. On JP, they did release the information that Goku is going to be easy Yang. We don't know any of his details. I think tomorrow we'll have the data download, so I'm super excited about that. It's just awesome because Goku is obviously Fuel Saiyan, Super Saiyan, which, which are categories that have been buffed, and he's an April Fool's unit, which they typically don't screw up. So it will be rare to see a screw up. Even Deborah last year was okay in his best case scenario. So surely they don't frick Goku up. He's already somewhat decent. Also, new support memory is going to be upgraded. Got no idea what it could possibly be. But based on Topo being the Doken Fest unit, you know, I can safely assume it's probably a Dragon Ball Super support memory. Maybe the Zeno's one? 
that would be interesting to upgrade or the bond of mars and the side but those are the two that haven't been upgraded that are somewhat familiar to the that is somewhat familiar to topo um but yeah that's about it from all i can see unless they truly just out of pocket pick something else and then for jp we got the android cell saga category super battery coming out stage 55 tomorrow uh so i'll be live doing that on twitch twitch.tv for slash jfan you can find the link in the description and the esbr which is heavenly events stage se oh sorry this is super battery the other one was esbr stage 78 super battery heavenly events and Android Cell Saga ESBR. But that's going to wrap up today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about the brand new units. I'm most excited for the Super Saiyan Goku. Data download should drop tomorrow, so I'll have news on that. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay busy. Peace.